Hey everyone, this is Chris, bringing you a new video uh, just before I leave for Gen Con. It's definitely not going to be anything next week since I will be at the con, uh, unless, you know, I throw up something real quick on Twitter or what have you. Uh, just a little snapshot of what it's like to play Lord of the Rings at the con. Uh, but today what we're going to do is take the tactics deck that I built, bring to Gen Con, we are going to take it up against an actual quest. Uh, I'm doing Foundations of Stone. I like Foundations of Stone. It's a really fun one to bring sort of multiplayer, uh, which is something that I get to do at Gen Con and I don't get to do most of the rest of the time. But we're doing single-handed because once again, no matter how high this webcam gets, uh, there's only so much space on this table for cards. But I have a decent opening hand here, so I think I should be good to go. Uh, and my initial encounter reveal was Sudden Pitfall, which is either really good or really bad, depending on what happens next. But hey, no threat in the staging area, that works for me. So let's kick off round one with some resources and an extra card draw. It's not a great card draw, but I'll take it. Uh, we are going to play a Zutodyne Hunter right off the bat. One, two, three, four, five. Because this deck is full of goblins, which are relatively easy to defeat, like this Goblin Scout, and that I don't really want to see in the staging area. So, free willpower and an enemy that will be uh, trivial to destroy, especially since the worst shadow effect in the deck is out. I've also got a Legolas in my hand, so I don't think I'm going to play any of these other cards. So, let's commit to the quest. Uh, Hirgon and Eowyn are in for six. Um... And I'm going to leave the... Uh, no, we'll send the Hunter too. Because I've put Legolas in, I'm going to be able to use him. So, commit seven to the quest. Up against three. Discard a card at random. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four. Uh, as long as it's not Legolas, we're good. Book of Eldakar, totally fine. All right, so up against three threat, that is four progress for me. Uh, I could cave torch it, but I have an enemy already this round, so we're just going to spend my three resources to play Legolas with Hirgon. I will travel to the Fouled Well, and I guess I will take this attack. Uh, Bayorn is going to defend. Titan enemy gets plus two. So that is two damage on Bayorn. And Legolas kills the goblin, which draws me a card. Ooh, which drew me a really good card. All right, that works. So, we're on to round number two. Tick up to 28. Refresh all of these characters. One resource on everyone, and I draw a card. Secret Vigil is nice, but I can't do anything with it right now. Uh, so I'm just going to spend one, put the red arrow on Hirgon. It's going to give us a little bit more willpower. Quest some more. Uh, once again, I think I will send these three, which is eight total. We reveal. A cave in. All right, that takes four progress away, but doesn't add any threat. So eight up against nothing is five on the foul well, and three on the main quest. Clearing out the foul well. I guess there's no enemies for me to kill, but there is a Durndingle warrior swooping into play. Uh, Hirgon apparently is running to the Ents for help. So, move on to the next round. Threat goes up to a whopping 29. 
Now I have four resources. I'll draw myself a card. Okay, Vassal of Winged Lord is pretty good. Well, I don't think it's worth Raiment of War on Legolas. But that's okay. We're gonna send seven to the quest one more time. Uh, eight now. Burning low. All right, that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Always good to see that burning low means I make eight progress, which clears stage one uh, and allows me to play this Vassal of the Wind Lord for free. We move on to stage two. Which is going to force us to discard cards from the top of our deck, but mostly I don't care that much. So, 30 threat. Starting to feel like this deck is very strong for this, uh, but we'll find out. Draw my card for the round. Oh, okay, now it's another Raiment of War, which is just a little silly. Uh, but I'm gonna put this Bow of You on Legolas so that I can do a little bit of extra damage. Uh, and we commit to the quest again. I will send eight. Lightless Passage, not bad. I did discard two cards, Spearman and a Bow of You. So I will make four progress and I will exhaust the Cave Torch to travel to Lightless Passage. Uh, Cave Torch discard is Burning Low, not an enemy. Don't even have any allies to play with my successful questing, so we just get to move on some more. I would really like the Eagles are coming. Because then I could play some expensive Eagles, do something good with that. Although just expensive Eagles is probably fine too. Is it worth it to... I might as well save the resource and uh... no, I should just play them. I like the extra willpower, so let's bring out Eagles of the Misty Mountains. Uh, now I can chump with the Vassal and sort of get value out of that too. So we're questing. Uh, we're going to send 10 this time, discarding Dunedain Hunter and the third Raiment of War. Ooh, up against Watchful Eyes. Uh, those are gonna go on Bayorn. And my 10 up against nothing is 10 progress. So here's four on Lightless Passage and six on the quest. All right, 32 threat. Everybody stands up. I realize that Legolas is gonna lose his bow of you as soon as we move on to stage four, uh, but that's okay. Maybe he'll get to use it once before that happens. Get an absurd number of resources on these characters, which is where the partner deck would come in handy. Although Warrior of Dale is pretty good right now. Uh, he doesn't have any willpower though, so I'm going to leave him until after we quest. Uh, we have, yeah, three, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten committed to the quest. Nothing in the staging area. Zigil Mine Shaft. I forgot to discard my two cards as a Landerval and a Winged Guardian. That's no good. Uh, but I think Bayorn is going to be fine. So uh, up against five, my 10 is five progress. There's more than enough to clear the water's edge. Move all those tokens out of the way. Stage three, AKA the big annoying one. All right, so Cave Torch goes away. This Bow of You goes away. All encounter deck cards go away, including Watchful Eyes and the Sigil Mineshaft. 
burn this whole deck, but I keep all the treacheries and enemies from in here, including that sudden pitfall. Two burning lows that are maybe worse than they were before, maybe not. And we shuffle them in here with some treasure and all of the nameless things. I don't think I've actually ever claimed any of the treasures while playing this quest. I know they're in here. I know <laughs> that there is a card that will help you find them and attach them to your heroes. I, I don't think I've forgotten them. Oh, unfortunately, I believe the red arrow also goes away because it's an item. Well, got excited prematurely for the benefits of that, but oh well. All right, quest is done. And now we move on to a random stage four. Three. Sheltered rocks. All right, two cards from the staging, or two cards from the encounter deck. Moria Bats. And a nameless thing. All right. I did quest successfully long, long ago. So we're going to spend two resources to pop a Warrior of Dale into play. Uh, and I believe I will Doomed One in order to boost his stats. So he's at three attack, two defense. Uh, yeah. All right, and my 33 threat forces me to engage both of these enemies. Each gets shadow cards in this order. Uh, and I cannot defend the Moria Bats with anyone that doesn't have ranged. But I do also have to do this nameless thing. Absolutely gonna gonna wreck us a little bit. Currently swinging for seven. <laughs> All right. Um, let's take this Moria Bats attack undefended. I do have a couple ranged characters, but attacking enemy is nameless. It is not. So one damage on a hero. I'll go on Bayorn. And this nameless thing, I will defend with Vassal of the Windlord. Attacking enemy is nameless. Defending player must discard his hand. I should have fainted that. Uh, I have this in my hand the whole time. I've been waiting for it. And I don't know what I would rather use it on than a seven attack enemy. So we're gonna faint the nameless thing. Pretend that whole mess didn't happen. <laughs> Cause that was just a dumb move on my part. And I'm accidentally going to throw Legolas off the table. <laughs> uh, you can tell I didn't get enough sleep last night. I'm a little flustered right now. But, all right. Legolas is going to kill the Moria Bats. I forgot Moria Bats actually did two more points of damage to Bayorn, which is fine. Legolas kills the Bats, draws me a card, which is the Eagles are coming. It's pretty nice. Uh, and I need 10 to kill the nameless thing. So here is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I guess I didn't need to doom, but that's okay. So we're gonna kill this nameless thing, add it to the victory display, uh, which I will tuck over here. Those cards go back. Vassal the Windlord attaches to Eagles of the Misty Mountain. And that is it for this round. Threat goes up to 34. We stand up all the characters, having had to use them all for the first time in quite some time. Slide these guys over here. And I will draw a card, get to <laughs> six resources. All right, well, I guess we're gonna play Eagles Are Coming. One, two, three, four, five. I'll try and get some more allies into my hand, like this Eagles of the Misty Mountain and another Eagles Are Coming. 
really hoping for the other copy of Landerval uh, or possibly Gwei here so that I can pull back Landerval. But it'll be all right. Play another Eagles are coming. One, two, three, four, five. Gets me this time just Landerval. Perfect. That is basically exactly what I wanted. And this should be nice and simple going forward. So, Landerval in the hand. Uh, I'm going to spend one for a Raiment of War on the Warrior of Dale. Uh, so now he is four attack and ranged, which is quite nice. I will, might as well spend five right now on Landerval. Uh, I have two ally options to drop into play when we quest successfully, so I'm just gonna go with that. Uh, two, six, seven, eight, nine committed to the quest. Reveal a burning low. Oh, it's so nice when that has absolutely nothing. So, I committed nine up against nothing. So I can drop a character into play with here gone. So here is a second Eagles of the Mystic Mountain. Uh, I made nine progress, which means we are almost onto stage five, uh, which might actually be a bit of a slog for this deck but two questing heroes and a bunch of two willpower allies should get the job done. That's it for this round. Tick up to 35, refresh all of these characters, get some resources in the next round and draw. Ooh, a useful card. All right, but I basically don't need to play any of these, so we're just going to quest one more time. Uh, two, six, seven, eight, nine, committed to the quest. All right, Deep Deep Dark is a Doomed One and Surge. There aren't any nameless things in play. And there's the other Burning Low, which does absolutely nothing. So we made it past the sheltered rocks, and now we are attempting to climb out of the depths. Gets me one free encounter card. Ooh. Um, hmm. All right. Uh, Bayorn, you're gonna get shuffled back into the deck. I also forgot to put an ally into play, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. I mean, basically the encounter deck just healed Baron for me because as long as there aren't any enemies in play, it's not like we're using him anyway. So I'll take it. All right, refresh takes us up to 37 threat. all these allies. I get two more resources this round. Draw myself a card. Not Bayorn, just in case you were curious. It's bonus Legolas who does not help. Uh, and I can only quest with the number of allies that are, or a number of allies equal to the number of heroes that are committed to the quest. So we're gonna send Hirgon, Legolas, and both Eagles of the Misty Mountains, which makes 10 committed to the quest, just short of being able to clear this in one round. <laughs> Although, if we get softballs like Goblin Follower that allow me to make 10 progress in one go, um, I'm not sure that we're gonna be held up for very long. So, uh, let me... I quested successfully, so I technically can drop an ally into play. So let's grab this honor guard. 
I will defend the follower with Durndingle Warrior. Okay, no shadow effect means I will take one damage and prevent it with the Honor Guard. And what, six? <laughs> Just swing with the team. No reason not to. Goblin Follower is dead. I draw a feint. <laughs> Refresh takes us up to 38 threat. Uh, I think we're going to leave Bayorn behind. I, I don't think we're going to stall out for long enough to let him come back. But maybe this card is him. Nope, that is a Vassal of the Wind Ward. All right, um, <laughs> we're, we're just going to quest again. <laughs> Two, six, eight, ten. Up against no encounter cards. All right, doomed one. Surge. Ooh, a nameless thing. Uh, but it is a little too late. Ten willpower committed to the quest with three in the staging area is another seven progress which you probably can't read, but it makes way more than the 11 that we need in order to win. And that is Foundations of Stone with this silly tactics deck. Um, honestly, I know this is not the hardest quest, and in fact, it starts off comparatively easy in a lot of ways, but going through the motions, getting the cards in play, uh, the resource discount from Hirgon, which sort of stalls out when you run out of allies in your hand. I don't know, I feel mostly good about this going into the con. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.